I know is so explosive and so... Welcome, Climate Viewers. Today is August 10th, 2014. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News, and I'm coming back to give you an update on the Ebola outbreak in Atlanta. We got the two doctors who were given the Z-Map. They are located at Emory. It is right next to the CDC campus, as you can see there. Madrid, Spain, now saying that they've got their first uh, case of a fella in a hospital. And then we have Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. They had a man crash out and die. Two sources on that, RSOE and Al Jazeera. Um, interesting note with that one. Um, they said that they are actually, uh, Saudi government stopped issuances of visas to Muslim pilgrims from the Ebola-affected countries to avoid a uh, spread of the disease during the Hajj pil pilgrimage. Uh, that's kind of huge news. I don't know if anybody knows what the Hajj pil pilgrimage is, but if you've ever heard where they go to Mecca, um, that's over here. It's uh, the Hajj. You've probably seen the rock where he walks around in a circle. Um, just to give you a, an idea of what's going on here, there's the Hajj. And there is the Saudi um, report of the fellow who died. So. Getting pretty close to Mecca there, yeah. So they're going to shut that down, and that may cause some strife, but uh, pretty big news there. Then we have uh, Brampton, Ontario. A uh, man from Brampton is being treated for Ebola-like symptoms, uh, but they don't want anybody to jump to any conclusions. Cough, cough. Then we have Athens, Greece. And with that one, we have... Uh, so they're running tests on a man suspected of carry, um, carrying Ebola virus as well. All of these, uh, of course, you can click right here and it'll take you to the um, articles. And then you come back up here and click close browser. If it fails, hit F5. I'm working on it. Got to gotta love a work in progress. So then uh, finally we have Baku, Ghana. Um, first case down there as well. Um, so... Let's hope that uh, this doesn't get any crazier than it already has. Thank you um, to the aviation industry. Not only do you run the risk of being shot down by anti-aircraft missiles and uh, spreading a pandemic worldwide, but thank you for the chemtrails. Gotta love the chemtrails. So I um, wanted to point this out. Is there any correlation between this Ebola outbreak and these fires down here in Africa? I mean, really? These things have been burning for at least a month or so that I've been looking at it. Just an outrageous amount of fire. So, I don't know. You tell me. Um, so, with that, back to the chemtrail thing. Um, just a, a heads up on what I've been doing, guys. I'm going to give you a quick out. Um, over here on my pearl trees is pearltrees.com slash resonated. Uh, like that. And uh, if you click on chemtrails, you can see what I've been up to lately. I'm trying to actually lay out all of the information that I have on chemtrails in one spot. So um, I'm putting here for now. And then what I'm doing is under aviation fuel additives, I've actually come up with the list of all the types of additives. And we're going to go through and actually fill those up with like MSDS sheets and, you know, all of the all of the stuff that we can find on it because everybody wants to know what in the world they're spraying i am going to figure out all of the chemicals put that in one place and then maybe we can do some math and uh figure out exactly how much of this stuff's out there maybe it's a little maybe it's a lot but hell i'd love to know of course here's an example of that you know you gotta love uh when you come down through these msds sheets and you see trade secret ingredient trade secret ingredient and you go look and say well has it been tested well these are estimated values we don't really have a clue and aquatic toxicology no data available no data available um, my last project this is something else I'm working on it's nuclear.climateviewer.com over here trying to map out all the nuclear facilities of the world uh, power plants uh, processing facilities you name it um, we're gonna put it on there and track nuclear explosions as well so um, any kind of uh, nuclear you want to get involved help me map it out I'd love to hear from you um, Jim at climateviewer.com facebook.com slash resonated I could definitely use your help on that and then I'm going on vacation for the next week so I'm going to be out the climate viewer team is going to keep the hangouts interesting for you so check them out on Sundays climateviewer.com slash hangouts but enjoy your summer um, know that this uh, coming fall is going to be absolutely phenomenal we got a, a bunch of huge 
huge cool stuff coming up. So uh, stay with us at uh, you know climateviewer.com, Climate Viewer News. Check out our Hangouts. Come over here, play on Climate Viewer 3D. And uh, if you have any suggestions, comments, or concerns, hit me up. And unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. Thank you, guys.